for me, it's knowing when to keep my mouth shut and just walk away and stop training. And for me, he's a poodle, so he's going to be stubborn one way or another. And so I can push it a little bit because sometimes it's just how much do you really want me to do this? Other times it's I'm done and you can't make me keep going. And that can be frustrating for me because I'm like, we've got to train. We've got to get that. I need you. And he's just like, woman, no. And so for me, it's knowing when to keep my mouth shut with my dog and then being able to go to somebody else and go, he's being a butt face. I've had it up to here. And it's going to somebody who's been there and who knows and who can nod and smile throughout your tirade and know that as soon as you walk away, you're going to go snuggle him. You're going to go pet him. He's going to be the most adorable thing ever again. But it's, it's knowing when to keep your mouth shut. And it's knowing that just like you don't work every second of every day and you have off days, the dog is going to as well. And being able to recognize that they're a living being that isn't a robot that works 24-7, just like you aren't. And just knowing that things aren't going to be perfect and progress and training isn't always when they get it. Sometimes it's when you know that it's time to stop and can read them and them saying, I know what you want. I, I'm not here right now. And you being able to say, let's walk away and come back to it later. And sometimes that involves walking out of a store. <laughs> <laughs>